Hi, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mama Zake. I'm from Princess in Rodiport. And I just want to say something about what MKI has done for the project that I'm running. They've really empowered the care workers that are working in my project uh, by giving them information. We were we, we always wanted to run support groups for the community, especially the people that are living with HIV AIDS. But because we did not know what is it that we are going to talk with them, you know, it was still undecided and we had not yet started. But after my care workers attended a course on HIV AIDS, they all came back excited with topics that can be discussed with the people that are living with HIV and AIDS and the support group started immediately and even now they are running so well. And what is also great for those people that are in those support groups, you can see that they've developed such confidence. Others, they, all of them, they've accepted their status and you know they are coping very well even within the community because initially they were very withdrawn, they were even hesitant to belong to the support group. But now, even if there is a function, they come to me and say, we want to go and disclose, we want to go and talk about our status and encourage other people that even when you are positive, you can still live longer as long as you have a positive outlook on life and you look well after yourself. And I personally attended a course on nutrition. I've also shared with the caregivers, the guardians that are staying with the children that are in my project, and now because of the information and the knowledge that we receive from MKI, every month when we have meetings with the guardians, there is something that we are giving them. It's not like just a meeting where we discuss issues about the center, but we make it a point that every time when we meet, there is knowledge that we give them. And all that knowledge is from what we've received from MKI. We teach them about gastro. Even now we're going to have a second session on gastroenteritis. And we teach them about nutrition, what food they can eat. Because they are from a very poor informal settlement. So we also show them that you don't always have to have meat. But things like beans, soya, those are the things that you can eat in order to get your protein from them. So, you know, everybody, I'm telling you, there is such excitement in my center, and what I like most is the positive attitude that my staff is having and the power that has been given to them because of the knowledge that they've received. I am so proud to be associated with MKI and for meeting Dr. Harold today, and I'm so proud to be a Clover Mama Africa, and you know we are really looking forward to being a satellite and working even more harder. I, the last thing that I want to mention is that even the facilitation of this workshop is amazing. I mean, some of my staff members, they've not really been to school, but I'm telling you, when they come back, they are teachers. They are able to understand clearly what has been taught, which means it is done in the most basic way that anybody it can reach the young the old everybody is accommodated in these courses and thank you so much to the facilitators thank you dr Harold. thank you Kirsty. uh thank you wow.